Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Sacred Heart's Hour of Adoration and Prayers for Healing this evening. We're so happy that you're joining us and tuning in with us tonight. I'm Julie Nelson. I just want to give you a little bit of an overview of this hour and what to expect. Father Nepen is going to be joining us shortly here doing an exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, so Jesus will be behind us here on the altar. Father will lead us in some prayers this evening and also provide a gospel reflection uh, reading and reflection. I want you to know that many of you know Deacon Ed, and Deacon Ed has always been the one who has started these for us here at Sacred Heart. Deacon Ed will be here with us. He will also be also offering uh, prayers and inspirations on the Facebook live feed that you see there onto the right of your screen. So Deacon Ed's going to check in here. You may have already. I mean, I, I can't see it right now, but let, him, let us know he's here just want to say that one thing that even though we're not together in person this evening that we are always together with God and God is the ultimate wireless internet connection so let's all remember that we are joined here together by God and through the Holy Spirit this evening we're going to have two opportunities for praise and worship led by Emily Schmidt during this time would be a great time if you want to offer your own prayer intentions on the live feed there are two other people here Orrin and Marilyn Strucker who will be offering prayers as well. All those who have sent your prayer intentions, we have them here and we'll be praying over there individually throughout this hour. Rest assured your prayers are being heard and are, are being lifted up to the Lord this evening. Um, at the conclusion of this evening, Father will do a benediction and then we will close with reposition of the Blessed Sacrament. So thank you again for being here this evening. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, our Lord Jesus Christ.
Jesus, my Lord and my God, I bow down in humble adoration before you. From the depths of that humility, I raise my eyes to you, and in humble supplication to your sacred heart, implore your mercy and forgiveness for my many sins. Give me the grace to spend this hour of loving preparation with all the holy dispositions you desire. Enter into my heart, yourself, dearest Lord, and work your pleasure in it, directing all my faculties, senses, and powers to your greater honor and glory. Help me to console you for all the wrongdoings your loving heart receives from an ungrateful, ungrateful mankind. Mary, Dearest Mother, and you, great Saint Joseph, lend me all the love of your hearts and the love of all the angels and saints with which to love Jesus more and more. Teach me to pray, to love, to make reparation and to adore the loving heart of Jesus, so often abandoned, hidden in the most holy sacrament of the order. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. And whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of that, anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of Lord. To be praised to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, one of the finest attributes that we that make God different from man is God's faithfulness. He is faithful in his promises, he is faithful in his words, and his faithfulness endures forever. We all adore faithful and consistent relationships. We also demand consistency and permanency in our relationships. God knows this yearning of every indiv individual, so he offers the reliable, durable friendship. In other words, an unending friendship with us. This trustworthiness inspires us, us to cling on to him, to rely on his words and depend on his providence. Today's reading is from John chapter 6. After the multiplication of the loaves of bread and fishes, Jesus teaches them about the Eucharist. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. And whoever believes in me will never thirst. He is faithful to this promise too. We will not have hunger and thirst. This is his promise. But we are hungry and thirsty in different ways. We see the hunger for food 
the hunger for love, and many other like the hunger for fame, the hunger for positions, the hunger for possessions, etc. Above all, especially in this time of pandemic, we all are hungry for the Eucharist. We all yearn for the day when our life comes back to normal. Now, we see thousands of people dying alone. People living in anxiety and fear. World leaders blaming each other. People running out of food and medicine. The loss of jobs. Postponed surgeries. Postponed medical appointments. Funerals without the presence of de their dear ones. The little ones of our parish community who have been preparing for their first Holy Communion are still waiting. They are thirsting for the day to receive Jesus first time, but we do not know when. Our RCA members, brothers and sisters, are also waiting with much hope to become members of the one Holy Catholic Church. Our life has changed a lot recently. We live without Sunday mass, Sunday and daily Masses. Children are schooling online. It has been almost two months since we, since living in this virtual world. What is the response to this suffering world? What is our response to the anxieties of our own family? What does our faith in Jesus teach us in the midst of this chaos? What should be the response of a believer? Even in the midst of these complications, God is with us. He is present in our life, in our home. He is truly and sacramentally present here on the altar. This is His promise that I will be with you till the end of the time, and I will never leave you alone. This is His his promise, Isaiah chapter 44, 40 verse 8 we read, The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Yes, He is faithful in His words, so He is with us in our sufferings. He is here to quench our thirst, to satisfy our hunger. Only Jesus can quench our thirst and satisfy our hunger. Believe in the presence of Jesus here on the altar. He is looking into our life, the life of each one of us. He has compassion towards our restless heart. He is the eternal food to satisfy the hunger. Jesus very often we hunger for many other things, but not for you. We tend to forget, in John chapter 6, verse 27, you reminded us, do not work for the food that spoils or perishes. Instead, work for the food that lasts for eternal life. Yes, do not work for the food that perishes. Instead, work for the food that lasts for eternal life. Jesus. We have given our priorities to many other perishable food, temporary achievements, and fleeting pleasures. But these do not satisfy our souls. Our souls are restless. Deep in our souls, we thirst for you, and we are hungry for you, Jesus. In Psalm 42, verse 1, we pray. As a deer longs for a stream of cool water, so I long for you, O God, I thirst for you, the living God. Jesus, we need you, we thirst for you, be with us. Like the disciples of Emmaus, we pray, stay with us. The day is almost over and it is getting dark. Jesus, we gather here in this evening to adore you, to praise you, and to be with you, 
and to receive your healing for our own souls and for all the parish members. You are the living bread, that you are the true light. Lord, stay with us. The day is almost over and it is getting dark. Let us pray together the litany of the most sacred heart of Jesus. Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Substantially united to the word of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and Center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we all receive. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of your lasting fields. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation of, for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Lord of down with opprobrium, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto the have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Have, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Salvation of those who trust in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, 
Delight of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our heart like unto yours. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your most beloved Son, and upon the praise and satisfaction which he offers you in the name of sinners, and to those who implore your mercy in your great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Bring your healing. Send forth your fire of love. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we lift up all these prayers. Here this evening, we ask for your healing. Lord Jesus, in your name, heal. Heal those who are seeking your healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We ask for this great outpouring Thank of your you, love, Lord Jesus. Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pour forth upon us your love. Heal us, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. We're searching, Lord. Heal us. We're parched. We thirst for you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Heart of Jesus, we are grateful for your answer to our prayer. We have sought you, ever hopeful, that your blessings we might share. You have heard us intercede with your love which is untold. And in answer to our pleading, all your prayers are prefers you are called. Heart of Jesus, we will thank you. We will love you more and more. Heart of Jesus, we will praise you and give thanks for more, forever more. Heart of Jesus, you have taught us how to see and how to find. And the lesson now has brought us to, to your heart, so sweet and kind. What we ask with faith believing, you have pledged your word to give, and your word is not deceiving, but the truth by which we live. Prayer to the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament. O sweet Jesus, let me lay at your sacred feet my daily share of joy, 
struggles and sorrows, hopes and fears. And you, in the stillness of your sanctuary, gather them to your most sacred heart. Ease my doubts, calm my fears, and grant that every day I may become more closely united to you. O oh, heart of Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament, overflowing with love and charity, I turn over to your mercy all of my negligence and my sins. I offer you all my labors and suffering, my sorrows and my miseries. I recommend to you my life and my death. Amen. Your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God
knowledge of his faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. I give myself to you, Lord. Help us to praise you. Give us to surrender to you, Lord. Make us serve. Lord, be the king of our lives. Let us ask in the intercession of Saint Joseph. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you, in you all my interests and my desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession. And obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of complete contemplate in you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him close in my knee, and kiss his fine fur for me, and ask him to repent the kiss when I draw my dying heart. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, Pray for me. Amen. Please repeat the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in his most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed, Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
power this evening. I want to thank you all for being part of this and, and just wish you all a good evening and just soak in the Holy Spirit. Thank you.